All right, guys, today we are building a dumbbell or whatever kind of mass storage system. Um, it should cost you about 40 bucks. I fucked up everything, so it cost me about 60, but it's still way cheaper than the four to 600 you'd be paying to get like something from Rep Fitness or Titan or shit, 800 bucks from Rogue or, or wherever. Um, so let me show you what we got here. So I was trying to make one with angled cuts, but I do not have a miter saw and they do not angle out correctly. So it was kind of a shit show. So instead, we're doing it with some right angles here. So I'm gonna lay out what it's gonna be for the side frame, and then uh, give you a list of materials and all that fun stuff. All right, so I got the uprights all made. It's a 16 inch two by four there. And then I got two 32 inch sections screwed together and then 16 inch pieces right there. Um, I just have the board set on there for now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and screw that one in and then I'll have a six inch or so it's gonna hang off the front about two inches. And we'll have two sections like that. And then the last piece, I don't have screws long enough for yet because I wasn't planning ahead well. Um, but this is a nine inch piece. It's gonna sit right between there. Uh, but I need like five inch or four inch. Yeah, probably four inch. Uh, screw to go through there just to give it a little more stability and then the last thing that I may do I have these shitty angled pieces from screwing up other things um, so depending on like it's side to side wobble I may throw that guy there for like a little more bracing uh, but we'll see all right so I built an add-on to that bad boy too, because I like it so much. All in all, I think we're about $60 in if I did everything right, which I did not. So I'm about, I think, maybe a little over $100 in for pretty long ass shelving unit. Uh, I'm gonna paint it with my daughter this weekend, maybe, or next weekend. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's supporting the weight extremely well. I got all the way up to 150 kettlebell down there. 26 to 150s, and then I got just two lonely fat bells for now, and then some old school York iron. As far as what you need to make these, to make one unit, you need eight pieces of 32 inch two by fours, which I then screw together. You need one, two, three, four, five, six, 16 inch sections of two by four. And I did have two pieces of nine inches for extra reinforcement. You might want 10 inches, um, cause I think I mismeasured my spacing there, but 10 inches would have been fine. I still end up getting a screw in there. So it adds a little bit of stability. And then if you have any scrap wood, cutting an angle off and it, that makes it so it's a little more sturdy back and forth. But that being said, it is like fully loaded down. It does not move much either way. Um, and for a hundred bucks, I mean, that's fucking great. If this was like a rogue rack, it was going to be like damn near a thousand dollars. Titan, you're looking probably 800 ish. Um, I like the height at it's like 34 inches going to the top there, which is like a, just a very comfortable height for grabbing dumbbells. Much higher than that. If they're heavier dumbbells, it's kind of like tough. Oh, look at that. I'm in my underwear. Whoops. Um, but yeah, all in all, we'll do it again. Um, you need three inch wood screws and four inch wood screws if you can have them. I got some drywall screws. So they started getting hard to drive all the way through, but that's just what I had. So. Check it out. If you guys try it, send me some pics. Let me know how it went. Catch y'all later.